to say solve this equation okay so how do you look about this this is a quadratic equation okay so we are going to use our quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a so we are approaching this using the quadratic formula but first of all before we start using that let us write um, write this equation properly. So we have solution. So here we have x minus one. Okay, minus. When you look at the bracket, say we have x minus one squared. So you see that saying we open up by saying x squared. When you take this square, but by by two, you have it as minus two x. Okay, plus one. Okay, square of one is one equals to zero. So, another way you can do this is it says that say x minus 1, x minus 1, you still get the same answer. S times x is x squared minus x, okay, minus x. When this multiply is minus times minus is plus 1, okay. So, here you have x squared minus x minus x minus 2x plus 1. So, it's the same thing. So, you replace, so we open up the brackets with the minus. So here you have x minus 1 minus x squared minus and minus is plus 2x minus and plus is minus 1 equals to 0. So here you can collect the like times and we are it properly. So here you have minus x squared. Okay. So this is x, this is plus 2x. So here x plus 2x. Okay. Here we have the minus 1, which is this, and minus 1, which is this, equals to 0. Okay, so here we have minus x squared plus x plus 2x is plus 3x. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 equals to 0. And do not forget the general form of a quadratic equation is always in this form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. Okay, so from here I can. Apply, let us apply this to resolve this. So for my B, okay, the coefficient of X is 3, that stands for my B. So my A, okay, the coefficient, the coefficient of X squared is my A, that is minus 1. And for my C, that is minus 2. So since I've known all this, I cannot apply this formula that says minus B plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a so which implies my b is 3 so that is minus 3 plus or minus square root of b is 3 that is 3 squared okay minus 4 my a is minus 1 okay and my c is minus 2 divided by 2 into my a is minus 1 Okay, so when you work for that, you have minus 3, okay, plus or minus, here you have 3 squared is 9, okay, so here minus and minus is plus, plus and minus is still minus, 4 times 1 times 2, that is 8, over 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, okay, so for me now you have minus 3, plus or minus, square root of 1, which is 9 minus 8, divided by minus 2, okay? So, from here now, I have minus 3, plus or minus, square root of 1 is 1, over minus 2. So, I can have my answer in the form of minus 3, okay, plus 1 over minus 2, or minus 3 minus 1 over 2 over minus 2 so for minus 3 plus 1 I have that to be minus 2 over minus 2 that is 1 okay and for the second way I have minus 3 minus 1 that is minus 4 over minus 2 that is 2 square root of x squared plus 9 equals x plus 1 solve for x okay this is a quadratic equation involving radical Okay, so how do we go about this? We have solution. So for root x squared plus 9, since that same x squared plus 9, this power half, okay, since that's it, equals x plus 1. Okay, so to take 
care of this particle, I have to take square of both sides. So when I do that, I have s squared plus 9 is the power half times 2 equals x plus 1 squared. Okay, so by the time I do that, this can go with this, so I have just one. So when it says that saying x squared plus 9 equals for s plus 1 squared, when you open it up, you have x squared. Okay, when you take this together, multiply by 2, you have it plus s plus 2x. Okay, so here you have it plus 1, square this is 1. When you open this, okay, so from here, now I can collect the like signs. So when I collect the like signs, I'll be having s squared, okay, minus s squared, okay, equals. Sorry, minus this squared minus 2x, okay, plus 9, okay, which is this minus 1 equals to 0. So this is out of it. So I have a minus 2x, okay, plus 8 equals to 0, okay. So I can use 2 to factor out this, okay. So when I say minus 2 into x, okay, minus 4. Okay, equals to zero. So I divide this by minus two. Okay, so here I still have my x to the minus four equals to zero. Okay, so here x equals when I add four to both sides, so I have x to the four. So when we verify this, when we look at it, let's verify. For x equals to four, when we come back to the equation. We have square root of s squared, which is 4 squared, plus 9. So at the left hand side of the equation, 4s squared is 16, that is 4 times 4, plus 9. Okay, so that gives us square root of 25, which is 5. Okay, so let us work it out here. So if x equals 4, so x plus 1 equals 4 plus 1, that is 5. So for the left hand side of the equation we have 5 and for the right hand side we have 5 so x equals 4 the roots of the equation we have 3 x squared minus 2 x minus 6 5 equals to 0 we have to find the roots of this equation so solution okay so you can use the factorization methods to resolve this so here we have 65 we have 3 so we multiply this 65 with 3. So when we do that, we have we have this 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, 3 times 6 is 18 plus 1, we have 195. Okay, so we look for two factors of 195. Then when we multiply it together, we have this. And when we sum it up, we have this. So in this case, we can use 15 and 13. So when we multiply this together, we have this. And when we add this together, we still have this. So how do we do that? We have 3x squared. Okay, for this we have minus 15, uh, minus 15, minus 15 m. Okay, plus 13 m. Okay, it's something as this minus 65 equals zero. So yeah, I can look for what is common. I can group it. Okay. So from here I have 3m to the common, so I have 3m into n minus 5, okay, so plus here you have 13n, okay, you have 65, so we can use 13 to factor it out, so we have 13 into n, okay, minus 5, so when you multiply this you have this, so when you take this, you pair to this, you have 3m, plus 13, okay, and you pick out one out of this, you have n minus 5 equals to 0, so for here, for 3n plus 13 equals to 0, okay, so this can come here, you can subtract 13, so you subtract 13 from both sides, so you have 3n equals minus 13, okay, so n equals minus 13 over 3 okay in this case so for this you have m minus 5 to be 0 to equals to 0 so when you add 5 to both sides you have n equals 5 
So most of the equation is minus 13 over 3 and 5. Thank you very much.